you are struggling with one of the most important shots in tennis and you don't even know it. In today's lesson, we're gonna cover the first shot after your serve when the ball comes back fast to you. And this is a shot that no one's practicing and they don't know how to fix it. We're gonna cover that today. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution, one of the leading online tennis instruction websites in the world, passionate about helping you accelerate your results. And it can be done. You can play more like the pros if you know what to focus on. So much confusion out there online and offline about how to help a player improve, how to help you improve. We wanna clear it all up with step-by-step -step progressions that can help you get to the next level. Now, the shot we're talking about today is after you come out of your serve, your opponent does a great job of returning the ball fast to you, back right on your feet. What do you do when that ball comes fast? I see a lot of stuff out there. I see players actually coming out of the serve, standing flat-footed and getting caught right here. No go. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna win many matches if you're struggling with this ball many times per set. And yeah, it's gonna happen a few times per set where you do get caught and you are going to lose points when this happens if you don't know what to do. Also, I see players, they go back and they lift this leg up a lot. That has to stop. I still see it with high level players. So I realize that you might not be in a position to have someone feed you these fast balls, but there is a way to shadow stroke it. There is a way to practice it. I wanna at least show you the concepts so you can start mimicking what I do. So you can start modeling what I'm teaching you because 10, 11 years of teaching tennis on the court, studying the game as a pro as well, I struggled with this shot myself and I, no one could show me what to do. So I had to find a formula that works and I found one and I'm gonna show it to you right now. So again, the shot in question is after hitting a serve, I've got to get back and I've got to handle this ball that comes back on my feet, that comes back fast. Remember, serve plus one, if you do it well, you're gonna win a lot, singles and doubles. If you're missing a lot of serves and you're missing a lot of first balls, you're in big trouble. So what we wanna practice doing is we wanna get the right framework with the swing and we wanna get the right framework with the feet. So I'm gonna show you some really cool things today. First off, like I said, if you come out of the serve and you just stand here and watch your serve, you're gonna be in trouble. If you hit your serve and you are able to get back and you lift this leg, you're in trouble. So we have to just eliminate those two concepts right off the bat. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to focus on your follow through at the end of the swing. Now it really depends on what type of grip you have. I have a semi wet Western grip, so this is gonna work for me the way that I'm about to show you. But if you have more of an Eastern grip, I can show you what to do as well. Here's the key. You've gotta stop your finish sooner and you've gotta stop the racket in front of your body. What do I mean by that? When the ball comes fast to your forehand, I want you to practice stopping the racket in front as if you're protecting yourself. It's time to protect yourself with your racket. If someone was gonna punch you in the face and you were holding the racket, you would bring the racket up like this. You wouldn't come over the shoulder like this. I see too many players swinging too long on this ball. This is a ball that's coming fast. The faster the ball comes, the shorter the follow through. Let me say that again. The faster the ball comes, the shorter the follow through. The, sh the slower the ball comes, the more you can follow through. Here's another tip. The faster the ball comes, the less you rotate. So let's get into the finish and then we'll talk about rotation next. So I come out of the serve, the ball comes, comes fast, and look at how I stop the racket. Even when I tell people to do this, they still go too long. So what I want you to think about doing is when you swing, stop the racket right after you make contact with the ball. So if you have to practice for a while where you focus on stopping the racket right here, okay? Right as you make contact, that's what I want you to do on this ball. Remember, this is a fastball, not a slow ball. Fastball coming out of the serve, stop right away. Everyone I work with, no one I work with goes too short on this. Everybody goes too long. 
So what I do is I work, look for patterns, and I see patterns when, when players struggle with this shot, and then I come up with progressions. And the first progression is to stop the racket, protect yourself with the racket. You are guarding yourself. You are protecting yourself from getting hit. That's the key. If you have a semi-western grip, the strings are going to face the net like this. So it's not gonna go like this. It's gonna face the net like this. I'm also gonna tell you that I would not advise a buggy whip on this. If the ball bounces a little bit higher, you could try a buggy whip. I see a lot of players just flip up with the racket. This is not the time to do that. What you wanna focus on doing is working on extension and catching the racket in front of you. Just protect yourself. Protect yourself, okay? Huge concept. Protect yourself with the racket. Now, if you have more of an Eastern grip, even towards a continental, but I'm gonna show you an Eastern grip, what I would do is I would, again, I would stop the racket right here. Now you see the strings are not facing the net, but you're stopping. You're, you're essentially absorbing the ball, accelerating and stopping, just like you would do on a fast ball, if a ball came fast on a volley. You're shortening your follow through. Don't worry about your backswing right now. I know some coaches will tell you to take a shorter backswing. That's important, but I want you to work on a shorter finish. Learn to accelerate and stop the racket in front of you. If you go too far, I want you to bring the racket back like this. Bring, come here, bring the racket here. You can go up too. I like players going up, so almost the hand is covering the face. The point that I wanna make is that your follow through matters here. Your follow through and your consistency with your follow through matters. If the ball comes fast, you're gonna panic and do lots of weird stuff with the racket. I want consistency over and over again. Okay, so we've covered the follow through. Now I wanna talk about the feet. This really depends on how the ball comes back to you. If you come out of a serve and the ball comes a little bit wide, if you come out of a serve, you step back and split. That's key, we don't wanna watch, we wanna get back and split. If the ball comes a little bit to the side, you're simply going to load this leg and watch what I do here. Did you see that shuffle? I call it a crab. You step out and then you shuffle and you hold this position. This is something I want you to practice without a ball. I want you to shadow stroke this, this. See that move? If you can get this move down, you're gonna become a better tennis player. Instead of going out and hit a million balls, why don't you work on the shots you're struggling with? And I guarantee you, you're struggling at times when balls come fast and low to your forehand. Step out, crab, hold. Step out, crab, hold. Step out, shuffle, hold. Notice my racket stopping, notice my base. We've gotta get it really wide. Most people are gonna, again, they're gonna go like this. We're replacing this movement with this movement wide like this. Absolutely critical to your success to practice that. So now we've got the finish, blocking yourself, protecting yourself. We've got the crab at the end. Awesome stuff to practice. What do you do when the ball comes at you? Now, I'm gonna breeze through this right now. If it comes at you and it's moving this direction, you can, eat, you can actually step and use a little karaoke to move out of the way of the ball. But that's not what I wanna to cover today. I wanna to cover what I call the step back footwork pattern. Now the step back is amazing because Roger Federer and others do this. And this goes against all teaching in America and even around the world for those that are not in on these tra pro trade secrets here. The step back means that you're going to load this leg and as you swing, watch this, I'm gonna swing and I'm gonna step back. That goes against everything we've been taught where we step into the ball. I see players trying to fight fire with fire. The ball comes fast and they step forward towards the ball. You don't wanna do that, you wanna absorb the ball. But you have to do this correctly to get it right, otherwise it's gonna be ugly. Remember, we don't want you to do this, we want you to step back. So watch what happens. I drop and I step, step back. Watch it again. I load my leg here and I rotate. Now, you'll see that I don't just step back and I lock this leg. This is very important. That's why I want you to go slow with this and shadow it. You're gonna be here, watch this leg. There's a pivot. So you've gotta be on the ball of your foot. This is a very advanced tip, but if you start to study the pros, you'll see them do this. You'll see them step back and rotate. You'll see them lift a little bit and rotate. 
it's kind of like, it's similar to what I call the switch pattern, where you load and you land and you rotate. But you don't want to do that when the ball comes low. You don't want to jump off the ground when the ball comes low. When the ball comes low, you want to step back and absorb it. See that rotation? Now, if you actually practice this and you somehow get close to getting it, which I know is tough, I'm not saying this is easy what I'm showing you. I'm just showing what the pros do and giving you a model, giving you something to look forward to. If you think you can practice this and do it, make sure you hit the ball, then rotate. I see people rotating before they even make contact with the ball. It looks, when they learn this, it looks more like this. It's too fast. You're gonna hit it, then you're gonna step back. You're gonna hit it, then you're gonna step back. And remember to pivot off of this leg like this. I showed that last because it's more advanced than the crab. The step back, the Federer step back is more advanced, but it's something to consider. If you wanna start practicing these moves, they're like dance moves. These are the dance moves that I've studied from the pros. Now, I've had a blast making this video. This shot is so important, that fastball to the forehand after the serve. So is the fastball to the backhand. A lot of the concepts are similar, Maybe we can make another video about that. Before you go today, make sure you leave a comment or question. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I've got a free membership for you inside the Tennis Evolution app. Totally complimentary, 21 lessons, no credit card required. Click the link in the description below or somewhere in this video to pick up our Tennis Evolution app with the free lessons, 21 lessons to help you with your footwork, just like this to help you with your serve, your forehand, your backhand, injury prevention, I don't want you getting hurt anymore, help you with your mindset and so much more, strategy too. So click the link below somewhere in this video. We wanna help you get to the next level as fast as possible.